With the weak start of the WNBA season for Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever, there are unconfirmed reports that the just-retired Iowa Hawkeyes head coach, Lisa Bluda, could be heading to the Indiana Fever to continue building Caitlin Clark's legacy. Lisa has wonderful 24-year track record at Iowa and her annual salary was $1 million, while that of the current Indiana Fever head coach Christy Sides is estimated at $500,000 a year. Anyway, some sacrifices are worth making. Do you think Lisa Bluta can be a better coach for the Indiana Fever team? The early stages of the basketball season always bring about a flurry of opinions, but even casual observers can sense when something is amiss with the coaching staff. Christy Sides finds herself in a tough spot, trying to navigate the talents of her team, which boasts both dominant post players like Aaliyah Boston and Nalissa Smith and a standout guard in Caitlin Clark. It's a balancing act that is proving tricky, raising questions about strategy, player roles, and the elusive title of team star. Caitlin Clark, with her impressive resume, arrived expecting to be the focal point of the offense. However, it seems Sides is grappling with maintaining loyalty to the team's previous style, centered more on post-play and Aaliyah Boston's prowess. The struggle to define the team's identity is palpable, presenting a real challenge for the coach. This scenario isn't new in the world of sports, where rookie coaches often face an uphill battle. Enter Lisa Bluta fresh from retirement and potentially eyeing a return to the court, this time with the Indiana Fever. Bluta's track record at Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball, with back-to-back -back championship game appearances, speaks volumes. Her comeback wouldn't be unprecedented, given the trend of coaches returning after a brief hiatus. At 63, Bluta still has gas in the tank, making the Indiana job a tantalizing prospect for the future. With a bit of rest and recuperation, she could come back swinging, signing on for a multi-year stint with the fever. The timing couldn't be more perfect, setting the stage for a seamless transition for Caitlin Clark. As for sides, it appears her tenure might be short-lived, with her struggles to maximize Clark's potential within the current lineup casting doubt on her future. Fans and pundits alike recognize Clark's capabilities and the need for a system that can harness her talents fully. Sides might grasp this reality, but her allegiance to the established players presents a hurdle that's proving tough to overcome. The logical move would be to bring in Bluta, a familiar face to Clark from their college days. Her arrival could unlock Clark's true potential, providing the spark the team needs to ignite their season. It's a scenario that seems increasingly likely as the cracks in Sides' coaching become more evident. While it's still early days in the season, the signs are there. The coaching staff is struggling to find their footing with the current roster. Sides' dilemma with identity and player utilization could spell the end of her tenure, opening the door for Bluta to make a triumphant return to the sidelines. Only time will reveal the outcome, but one thing's for sure, the basketball world is abuzz with anticipation and speculation. The fans, too, will stop at nothing less than the Caitlin Clark they have known breaking records at the women college basketball. For now, it is a game of wait and see.